The B-83 nuclear bomb stands as one of the most formidable weapons in the United States strategic arsenal, epitomizing the destructive potential of modern warfare. Designed during the height of the Cold War, it remains a crucial element of the U.S. deterrent strategy. Weighing an imposing 2,400 pounds or 1,100 kilograms and measuring 12 feet or 3.7 meters in length with an 18-inch or 46-centimeter diameter, its sheer size is comparable to a compact car. The B-83 is specifically engineered for strategic strikes against hardened targets, including deeply buried underground bunkers. This capability makes it essential for neutralizing enemy command centers and critical infrastructure. Its explosive yield of 1.2 megatons of TNT, or 1,200 kilotons, is sufficient to annihilate entire cities. To provide perspective, it is 80 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. The exact number of B-83 bombs in the U.S. arsenal is not publicly disclosed, as this is classified information. However, estimates based on public reports and declassified materials suggest that the U.S. has around 650 B-83 bombs in its stockpile. This bomb is typically delivered by advanced U.S. aircraft, including the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and the B-52 Stratofortress, ensuring it can penetrate heavily defended airspace. Upon deployment, the B-83 uses a parachute-assisted delivery system, slowing its descent to optimize detonation at a precise altitude or underground depth, depending on the mission's objectives. If detonated as an airburst over a major metropolitan area like Beijing, the destruction would be apocalyptic. The fireball alone would cover four square kilometers, or 1.5 square miles, vaporizing everything in its radius. The shockwave would level structures up to 7.5 kilometers, or 4.6 miles away, while thermal radiation would cause third-degree burns to individuals within a 13-kilometer, or 8-mile radius. The human toll is staggering. An estimated 1.5 million fatalities, with an additional 3 million injured. Minuteman 3 The Minuteman 3 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, is a cornerstone of the U.S. nuclear triad, offering a dependable and highly accurate land-based nuclear deterrent. Standing 59 feet or 18 meters tall and weighing 36,030 kilograms or 79,432 pounds, this missile is an engineering marvel designed for rapid deployment and devastating precision. The Minuteman 3 is capable of carrying up to three MIRVs, multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, each with a yield of 300 to 475 kilotons. Its range of 13,000 kilometers, or 8,100 miles, enables it to strike virtually any target on Earth. Launched from hardened underground silos located across the U.S., the Minuteman 3 is designed to survive a first strike and deliver a rapid counterattack. As of recent reports, the United States has approximately 400 active Minuteman 3 ICBMs in its arsenal. Imagine a scenario where a single Minuteman 3 ICBM targets Shanghai, a sprawling metropolis with a population exceeding 24 million. Equipped with a 475 kiloton warhead, the missile's impact would cause catastrophic damage. The fireball would engulf an area of approximately 5 square kilometers, or 1.9 square miles, vaporizing everything in its immediate vicinity, including dense urban infrastructure and high-rise buildings. The blast wave would extend up to 6 kilometers, or 3.7 miles, toppling structures and causing widespread destruction to the city's central districts. Thermal radiation would result in third-degree burns up to a radius of 10 kilometers, or 6.2 miles, inflicting severe injuries on millions. In this hypothetical attack, fatalities could exceed 1.2 million, with an additional 2.5 million people injured. Trident 2 missile, the submarine-launched powerhouse. Operating beneath the ocean's depths, the Trident 2 D-5 missile serves as the backbone of U.S. and U.K. nuclear deterrent strategies, ensuring a survivable second strike capability. This ICBM is a feat of engineering measuring 44 feet, or 13.5 meters in length, and weighing 59,000 kilograms, or 130,000 pounds. 
Its range of over 12,000 kilometers, or 7,500 miles, allows it to strike targets across continents with pinpoint accuracy. The Trident II's defining feature is its ability to carry multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, or MIRVs. Each missile can be equipped with up to eight W-88 warheads, each delivering a 475 kiloton yield. This means a single missile can obliterate multiple cities or critical military installations in one strike. Deployed aboard Ohio-class submarines, each vessel carries up to 20 Trident II missiles, collectively capable of deploying 2,240 warheads, making it one of the most formidable assets in modern warfare. Ohio-class submarine stealth capabilities and endurance ensure these missiles remain a persistent threat. Operating silently for months at a time, these vessels are nearly impossible to detect, ensuring the Trident II system's viability even in a first-strike scenario. There are roughly 336 Trident II D-5 missiles deployed in the U.S. arsenal across these submarines. Consider a scenario where a single Trident II D-5 missile, armed with its maximum payload of eight W-88 warheads, targets a region like Tokyo, one of the world's largest metropolitan areas with a population of over 37 million. Each warhead has a yield of 475 kilotons, allowing for precision strikes on multiple key locations within the region. If all eight warheads were deployed over Tokyo and its surrounding areas, the fireball from each warhead would cover approximately 3.5 square kilometers, or 1.3 square miles, incinerating densely populated zones. The blast wave from each detonation would destroy buildings up to 5.5 kilometers, or 3.4 miles away, creating a cascading effect of structural collapses across the city. Thermal radiation would cause severe burns and fires within an 8 kilometer, or 5 mile radius for each warhead. In total, this multi-target strike could devastate 28 square kilometers or 10.8 square miles per warhead, with overlapping areas amplifying destruction across Tokyo. Casualties could reach 3 million fatalities and 5 million injuries, with infrastructure decimated and chaos spreading throughout the country. China's DF-5 ICBM, a strategic colossus. The Dongfeng-5 or DF-5 intercontinental ballistic missile is a cornerstone of China's nuclear arsenal towering at over 106 feet, or 32.5 meters, and weighing a massive 183 tons. It is among the largest land-based ICBMs ever constructed. Its range of 15,000 kilometers, or 9,300 miles, places virtually the entire globe within its reach, enabling strikes on targets across the United States, Europe, and Asia, capable of carrying up to 12 MIRVs, each with a one megaton yield. The DF-5 can unleash unparalleled destruction, China is believed to have approximately 20 to 30 DF-5 ICBMs in its arsenal. In a hypothetical scenario where a DF-5 targets Washington, D.C., the combined power of its 12-megaton payload would cause a disaster of unprecedented magnitude. The fireball would obliterate the city center, while the blast wave would extend destruction over a 35-kilometer or 22-mile radius. Casualty estimates surpass 1.5 million fatalities with millions more injured and displaced. Russia's next-generation ICBM, the RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan-2, represents a quantum leap in nuclear weaponry. This three-stage liquid-fueled missile weighs an astonishing 208 tons and can deliver 10 heavy MIRVs or 15 lighter warheads, all independently targetable. Boasting a range exceeding 18,000 kilometers or 11,000 miles, the RS-28 can reach any target on Earth, employing polar trajectories to bypass traditional missile defense systems. Its use of the Fractional Orbital Bombardment System, or FOBS, allows it to briefly enter orbit before re-entering the atmosphere, further complicating interception. As of recent reports, Russia has begun deploying the RS-28 Sarmat in small numbers, with estimates indicating around 10 to 20 RS-28 Sarmat missiles in service or planned for deployment in the next few years. Reports suggest the RS-28 could carry a 50-megaton payload, rivaling the infamous Sar Bomba, the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated. If a Sarmat were to target New York City with such a payload, 
the devastation would be incomprehensible. The fireball would span 83 square kilometers, or 32 square miles, while thermal radiation would inflict third-degree burns within a 60-kilometer, or 37-mile radius. Fatalities could exceed 7 million, with millions more displaced and injured. In total, if multiple weapons from these systems were deployed across different regions in a nuclear conflict, global fatalities could easily exceed 100 million. The devastating aftermath would not only be measured in immediate loss of life, but in long-term environmental destruction, climate disruption, and economic collapse, and the breakdown of social and political systems worldwide. The use of nuclear weapons would result in no true winners, only untold suffering, irreversible damage, and a legacy of despair. The reality of nuclear war is that it threatens the very survival of human civilization, making the global effort for disarmament and strategic deterrence critical to preserving peace. The devastating potential of these weapons underscores the necessity of diplomatic solutions and the need for continued dialogue to ensure that such catastrophic scenarios remain nothing more than grim, hypothetical examples, rather than a terrible reality.